Hi guys! Alright, so today I'm going to do a Things I Regret Buying video. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out which direction to look because it's just too sunny in here today. Only in Wisconsin could we complain about the sun in the spring, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, to start out this things I regret buying, I actually didn't buy this for myself, my mom bought it for me. It's like this thing of eyeshadows, this is like an almost made it on here thing. Because I don't really use it, it's been like hiding underneath my bathroom sink for a while now. But like, these colors here in the bottom I actually swatched on my hand right before I was going to do this. So that's the, the big black one there silver and then the grayish one. So I almost put this on here but the I, I'm barely touching it and look at that. Definitely would need a primer because it comes off really easy but so that almost made it on this list of things that I regret buying. Sorry, baby wipe. I don't feel like being covered in five different colors of eyeshadow all day long. Because I still have to go to work today. So I'm going to start out with makeup first. I, the first one that I regret buying, because it's probably the biggest amount of makeup out of all of these, is this set that I got, I don't remember how many years ago during Christmas season, you know, they kind of put like these things out in Walmart. It's like this. It's got the mirror and comes with the little sponge tip applicators and it had a brush for the lip gloss that's on here and a blush brush too. So that was all in here on this mirror thing. That's all eyeshadows. A glitter eyeshadow which once you uh, actually touch it It's not actually eye glitter, it's like a cream shadow with glitter on top. And that's what that black one looks like. Yeah. Next to no glitter on there. Get it off. But yeah. So I didn't get just get one. This came in a multi-pack. There's the black one. I have it in a little bag so that way it wouldn't get smudged around, but it still got smudged around. There's the green one, which this barely even counts as a blush, that's like a highlighter there. The purple one, which if I was using these purples, I would not use that pink of a blush, just saying. The brown one, which is caked in hair, do you see it? Do you see it? Yes you do. And then the blue one, which has been so scratched up, it's disgusting. But yeah, so those are the, the first things that I really regret buying, because I used a couple of them and they just aren't what you'd expect. Here, I'll also watch some more from this black one. That's so these two, darkest black. And it doesn't even want to stick to my hand, it's just like crumbling up and it's just, it turns out gray. It's not at all what you want from a black eyeshadow. Let's see how the, the two darkest purples come out. Oh, that that's not at all what I thought it was going to look like. That is this one right here. And again, smudgy and disgusting and just not good. Not good at all. I wonder how bad the blushes are on here. So that's the, the blush from the purple one. Oh, yeah, that's even worse once I put it on my hand. It's like a giant hot pink mess. And it doesn't want to cover evenly either. So, yeah, those are the first things I regret buying. 
by the time I go to work, my hand's going to be all rubbed raw. What's in here? So this is going to be the garbage bag for this segment. It's all going in the garbage. Woo! Okay. Thing number two that I regret buying is this hard candy supernova uh, meteor eyes baked glitter eyeshadow. It's supposed to be like one of those like ceramic baked shadows where it's domed. Yeah, there's no dome there anymore because every single one that I tried to buy was broken. It literally just was cracked down the middle and it just fell apart and created a giant glittery mess in my makeup bag. And it looks really cool there, like it looks really pretty and purple. It's one of those things that you swatch it and it looks like a black with purple glitter in it. If we could find some glitter that would hit the light. There we go. But yeah. So, again, not what I wanted. I wanted a purple, not a black with purple glitter. So, again, fail. I've heard great reviews about their other stuff, but that one just sucked. Oh, and look, it's staining my hand now. It won't come off. Okay. This next one, again, some more eyeshadow is this is a thing from Avon. This was the Eye Artist Eyeshadow Trio in Passionate Plum. So I'm gonna do a swatchy swatchy. First of all, you touch the light colored one and it just goes down into the darker colored one. So that's never gonna show up the right color anyway because the light colored one got in it. But even if I don't touch it still doesn't come out nice. It still comes out oh like it, it's it comes off, but it's still way lighter than what you think it looks like in the pan. The only one that comes out the way you expect it to is this one. Otherwise these two are way lighter than what you want them to be to use them for any kind of makeup look that's supposed to look like this on your eye. So again, gone with the wind. Um, the next few actually are gonna be mostly Avon products. These two, once I get them open, are a couple of the Avon True Color Eyeshadows. So, yeah, those are those two. I never used them. I think I've used them two or three times since I bought them. but they don't look at all like how they look in the pan. Like this one, when you swatch it, it looks a lot like it does there on your finger, but once you put it on, do you see it? It's right there. And you almost can't tell that it even exists. So that one is the uh, True color single in turquoise. You can barely see. And then the next one 
is the True Color Single in Midnight Plum. And here you can see it. It's not even, it doesn't even want to rub into my hand. It's just all disgusting. And again, like with the uh, hard candy one, it looks like it's black with a hint of purple, not actually purple. So, and this one is one that I got a long time before I got these. So this is one of the original versions of the True Color eyeshadow. This one is in grape. Uh, let's see what the copyright is on this. This one is from 2002. This one is from 2007. So, the 2002 version, that's what it looks like in there. On my finger. And on my hand. It looks almost exactly the same as it did in the pan. I don't know what Avon did when they went from this formulation to this formulation, but something got messed up and they should really fix it. I don't know if they changed anything because I haven't been selling Avon for a couple years, but I'm continuing to hang on to this because I like this one and I know some people are going to be like, but it's from 2002, that's so gross. Well, I use it and I don't care. I don't get pink eye or anything like that that often, so I'm going to continue using it. Because I'm a makeup porter, so yeah. I'll do my last eyeshadow thing first before I move on to the other stuff. Alright, this last one is the Satin Deluxe Gray Matters Eyeshadow Duo. It's kind of like one of those, again, the ceramic baked duos. One side is silver, or a silvery color, and the other side is supposed to be black. And here we go with the swatching again. Now, the, the silver one does come off a lot like it looks, but that one looks a lot more gray. And then when you swatch them, again, silver comes out silver, the black comes out gray. I have tried using this wet, and the black does come out a lot more black looking when you use it wet, but I don't want to have to get a sponge tip applicator and get it wet every time I want to use this. So, and I'm kind of past my clubbing days considering the fact that I'm a mom now, so it's going in the garbage. Alright, the next thing that I regret buying is this uh, Jillian Dempsey for Avon Professional Color Correcting Palette. It is a four color palette of concealers. They have, you know, your standard salmon pink, kind of a regular flush tone, salmon pink, regular flush tone, a yellow, and then what they refer to in the instructions as an apricot color. Basically you're supposed to use like the yellow to cover up redness, the pink to cover up dark circles, I think the peach colored one is supposed to be intended as kind of like an all over highlight and I forgot what the uh, apricot colored one is supposed to be for. I've used it a few times, you can see when you look at it nice and close that I've actually used them, but I think I used them a few times to practice with them just before my wedding and I used this on my wedding day. but. I think I maybe used it once or twice since then for special occasions. Like, I really don't use it that often. It was probably something where I got this for free when I bought some other stuff. So, but yeah, I don't use it. And I apologize on behalf of my light situation, because 
it's all natural light and it's going to be weird today. The sun keeps on going behind and coming out of clouds, as you can see. There it goes again. <laughs> oh. Alright, this next one is the Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation. It comes in this pretty little thingy. It's pretty too, but then it has like this weird little swirly wand. I got this when I was tanner, around the time that I was getting married. I actually bought it intending it to be for wedding makeup because I thought it would be a good idea. But, uh, yeah. Don't you love that? Trying to blend it into my skin tone. It's, first of all, even when I was tanner, it was too orange. And I did add, I'm trying to think of what it was called, like a luminizing serum to it to try and get it to be less pancakey because it's supposed to make you look 100% poreless. And it made me look 100% pancake makeup covered. Not a good look. But yeah, you can see there. Where's the line? Over here. Yeah. See that? Beautiful orange. You imagine that on my face? I'm gonna keep this around because I want to do the uh, makeup pet peeve tag. But in my opinion, total waste of time. Just saying. So yeah. But you can see how orange that looks. It's really, really kind of gross. So. Yeah, and it even comes off orange looking on the the baby white that I'm using. It's just so nasty. Alright, and then I have a couple beauty tools that I wanted to uh, rant about, I guess you could say. The first one I'm sure a lot of people have seen, it's the InStyler. Total waste of time and money. This stupid thing, I bought it three or four years ago, back when it was in the, the big hype phase. I worked at 6 a.m. in the morning, so I'd have to be up at 4.30 for work. So I'd get up in the morning and watch infomercials and a little bit of the news before I left for work in the morning. And I saw ads for this thing, and I was like, oh, I totally want to get it and try it and see if it's as amazing as they claim. Well, I got it, and I didn't use it for like two or three months, and then I started trying to use it, and I'm like, who on earth would use this thing? If you can get it to work for you, kudos to you, because I thought that this thing was a giant waste of my time and money. So, $100 down the tube. Thank you, InStyler, for being worse than this piece of crap that I bought just before it and was like, oh, this InStyler sucks so bad, I'm going back to this thing, which is my El Cheapo Revlon Flatiron. It barely flattens anything, even on the highest setting. I have it on the high setting and it does nothing for my hair. It is absolutely horrible. It stinks every time you start it up. I think it's because of the metal plates. Like, it smells like something's burning. Like, you know how that, that new stove smell? Like, when you start up a new appliance and it smells kind of like iron or metal is burning? That's what this smells like every time I plug it in. And I've had this for probably a good three or four years now. It still smells like that. It's still absolutely gross. But it still works better than this. Both of these. Don't waste your time. Or your money. It's not worth it. Just not worth it. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed this. Because, uh... I'm going to enjoy throwing all this crap in the garbage once I get this 
wrapped up and put in the garbage to begin with. Ugh. All right, so that's my my little bit of tiny corner of my collection that's going in the garbage after today because it's a waste of time. I guess I will uh, be back later. I still need to upload my day in the life vlog thing and moving has been a train wreck and I fell off my diet wagon because I got food poisoning. So I lost weight but it wasn't how I intended to lose it. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I guess until next time, like and subscribe down there, and <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!